track? Heck no, she's not taking it in the motocross track. All right, guys, and the gate's down. Oh, wow, we got some racing. Oh, what are we running? Thank goodness we have Jackie legs here. All right, big battle for the whole shot. This is our final day, by the way, of 50cc racing. We wrap it up here. So they are final four motos. Landon Kahn, who's gotten some great starts all week, has the Stasic Hole Shot Award on the number eight. Yeah, as a saying. Oh, oh, and an endo. Ah, Ryder was probably about, what, sixth, seventh place? Popped yeah. right back up, though. He's up back yep. on the bike already. Got to respect that. It's time to get back to work, but he's definitely up in that top ten. But like I was saying, tough break for Landon Kahn, who's going into that moto number one with a 16th finish. One moto number two, and he's leading the way right here, as we see. But mathematically, I don't think it's going to work in his favor. You tend to see that in these 50s more than the other classes, the inconsistency, uh, just lack of experience on these guys where someone will win a moto or two and then have one bad one. Sometimes, sometimes you see complete dominance, but really nothing in between. Just to show how deep those ruts are, guys, when one of the kids took the inside rut over there and his bike got completely stuck. It swallowed him up. Really? Just so he, had, he had to stand up and let the weight off the peg so that the bike would go on forward. Oh, my gosh. I think we might have a new leader here as we watch him come around, and I believe they're going into Storyland. 31 has taken over he's, the lead. He's in second. second. That's second place. Yes, second. At uh, Talon Rogers on that number 31. So you don't think it's Khan in the lead any longer back there? I mean, unless Khan has a huge lead right now, yeah. I don't see him coming through the pack. He may have as we look out onto the track. These guys should be coming into the sand sweeper here. Running right with slide, the monster banners. It is not Landon Khan, it's that orange rod right there, the number 72 machine leading the way. That is the 72, Jet Rao. Wow, it's Jet Rao, he's doing it again. Dude, Jet Rao had an unbelievable ride yesterday, I believe. Where did he finish up in that moto? He got ninth that moto, but he won our first moto. Yes, and uh, yesterday, I believe he crashed uh, went back and was went 23rd to, whatever was that, ninth? Fight, fight his way to ninth. Yeah, sure. yeah, 23rd to ninth, I think, late in that race. So Jet Rao has had unbelievable speed, uh, but he might end up coming short of the title. I mean, he was so sad yesterday. He put in an unbelievable charge, but didn't show in the results. He's out for revenge right now. Jet Rao. And there's that 31 still in second. So what happened to Colin? who grabbed that Stasic Hole Shot Award. Definitely a tough break for Khan. I see the 44 machine checking it with us. That is the 44 of Jared Tincher. Tincher out of Elkview, West Virginia. Okay. Your fourth place competitor right now is the 25 of Justice Pearson. And fifth spot rounding your top five is Jackson Jones. In the sixth position, we got Tate Brush. In the seventh, we got Cruz Peterson. In the eighth, we got Brantley Tursky. In the ninth, we got Samuel Morse. And in the tenth, we got Jack Defendall. And I still don't see the number eight machine, so what a tough break for Landon Kahn. You know, he's feeling confident coming into this yeah. one. He won the second moto. He got the whole shot. Everything was in his favor, but obviously having some problems out there. Jet Rao is actually only three points away from winning this title with a 1-9-1. Talon Rogers sitting on 3 3 2 scores. That would be enough for the title. That's complicated math. More complicated than the four to six year olds could probably handle. No doubt about it. So, right now, the 31 machine, Talon Rogers, I mean, fate's right there in his hands. And again, second overall, as they sit right now, you know, these things could change quite often, but Jet Rouse sitting in second. Third spot is Tate Brush, and that could be our podium. But this is a long race here for these four to six riders. Shout out to the 14th place rider. That's something that all these four to six year old kids need to do in life. What's his name? Yes. Reed Moore. Reed Moore. <laughs> his name is Reed Moore. That's a good one. In the number 14 spot. That's good life advice for all you four to six year olds out there. Probably just about getting old enough to read. Well, 14th place, Reed Moore. It's R-E-E-D. But you know, if you're new to reading, you wouldn't know the difference. Chad Reed Moore. It looks That's like right. Battle's on right now, Jackie. Looks like Tinter's going to be able to take over the second position. Tinter's on a run right now. Yeah, Tinter's a ripper. I've seen him down there at the regionals doing some work. Did you see that both feet off, never let off? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's tough stand for these little bikes. Jet Rao leading, but Jarrett Tinter wants to make a run for it. Where was Tinter? 7 6 in the previous two motos. And then Shannon Tarnow, who we had on the podium previously. 
is 13th right now. It is all over the map with scores in this class. Absolutely, Jason. You look at like third to about sixth place are pretty tight within one point. So anything can happen right here as these guys battle it out. I believe Attencher makes a move. He'll make a move overall as well. But remember, everything we announce up here in the tower is totally unofficial. Good point. Don't want to take my word for anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if Jared Tincher can make a run for the lead here. He's two seconds down on Rao, but he's going two seconds faster, at least on the previous lap. Talon Rogers up to third. That would be your champ if he could stay there. So if you're Rao or Tincher, you need something to go wrong for Rogers. Yeah, but Rogers, you look at time and his score right now. He's got a decent little lead over the fourth place rider, Justin Searston. And Tate Rush looks like he moves that fifth spot right out of the top five. And guys, Jared Tinter is going to have our fastest lap of this race with a 245.5. We might have a Tinter Rao battle brewing here on RacerTV.com with our four to six limited class. We have four what we call micro divisions, or essentially 50 cc classes. Four to six, seven to eight. The Yamaha, or sorry, the Shaft class, which is really only Yamahas, and the micro E for the electric division as well. And watching for that Tincher Rogers Rowell top three to come through. In our split screen from the bottom right, we see the number 25 machine of Justice Pierce and trying to reel in Rogers. That's fourth place. Oh, hey, we're getting some good close ups. See the numbers a little bit better on these little guys. Yes, that was number eight, Atlanta Khan. He is out there on the track, but I'm looking at the overall score to picture this one. He is in 41st, so they checked in that last lap through, so hopefully he can make a move before this one's over. Actually, he's up to 36 now. Okay. But that's only going to put him 17th overall, so hopefully he can do a lot more work out here before this one's over. There he is in the number eight. He had your whole shot, and now just trying to make a comeback. Something obviously went wrong almost immediately. Oh, another rider oh. tumbles off the side of that uh, roller on the inside. Not a big crash, but going to cost him some time. Yes, yeah, definitely going to set him back a little bit as he goes in at the markers. And through the sand we go. Are this, is this the battle for the lead? Is Tincher closing the gap? We'll find out in a moment. I believe you're right on that one. I think Tincher is on a move right now, and he's trying to get this final moto win here in the Micro 2, 4-6 to six limited. Could we have three different moto winners in three motos with Rao, Khan, and... Tincher is going to take a take a swing at it. Yep, here they are. Going to be close. They come in, they drop off the beach, and they head up to the finish line area. We'll see them come by the tower here in just a second. Again, your leader is still the 72, a jet route, but Jared Tincher is all over in that number two position. We'll see what the lap times say as they check in with us. 246 for our leader jet round, a 244 at Jared Tincher. So he's right there. He's 0.8 seconds to 8 tenths of a second behind him. So, you know, he is riding with some confidence right now as he sees himself reel in the number 72 machine of Jet Rao. Third spot is still Talon Rogers, so he's sitting comfortable there with, I believe, a, about a 10 second lead over our fourth place rider, Justice Pierce. He chopped two seconds off again. That's what brought the lead down to this, which is essentially nothing. So we've got elbow to elbow, wheel to wheel, bar to bar between Rao on the 72 and Tincher on the 44 and Tincher. Taking a look down to the inside. Yeah, nearly making a run right there down that straightaway on the inside, trying to set himself up, but they got to go to the middle of the tracks. I believe those inside ruts are still a little too deep for these four to six riders. Into the Ten Commandments we go. Rao Tincher. They pulled away from Rogers, who would still be your champ with three, three, three moto scores. Thou shalt not give up the lead in those Ten Commandments. <laughs> Tincher's going to try to make a move to the outside. Yes, because the outside goes inside here, and the left-hander in the story land. Not going to happen. He is denied for the moment. But, man, look at that. I know that is not .8 seconds. Wait, did he Wait. blow by him, or is that a lap rider? I don't know. I can't, I can't call that one. Yes, that was Jet Rao. Yeah, he must have made a mistake because he just breathes right by him on a straightaway. Rao must have made a mistake. I thought it might have been a bike problem. Yeah, as Rao didn't hit that double over there in the story land. And coming out of the back now, Tincher into the lead. So trying to make it, again, three different moto winners in the three motos for this class. And I hate mathematics, but I believe mathematically that'll put 
pinched up into that fourth overall position, but we'll see when they come back and check in assignment and scoring. Well, it only makes it that much easier for Talon Rogers to win this title because now Rao is back in second, but Rao doesn't like being back in second. He's making a run at Tincher. Yes, rao has got a good line here in the sand section. They drop into the middle of the track. We'll see him come around the beach here in just a second. Wow, he's got the inside right there. So almost a pass made for the number 72 Jet Rao, but not going to make it happen. Let's see if he can make it happen as they go around the beach. Hopping, skipping over these jumps and bumps. Rao down to the inside. He had a nice line lined up, but it wasn't enough. Well, Rao has definitely picked up the pace once he got caught. He's not satisfied. Yeah, I know it's a flat podium, but potentially there are three steps in that podium, first, second, and third. He wants to get in that top step for oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, well said. Okay, two-lap card just came out. This battle for the lead is awesome. Rao trying to get it back. He's going to go for an inside line here around the billboards. I know the rut's a little deep, a little choppy. He's actually going to lose time, it looks like, on our leader. Yeah, just too darn, too darn deep on the entrance to that corner to make it work. I'm not sure what happened right there, but I'm seeing here on the overall monitor that Talon Rogers is still out there in the lead of Sharn and Town. Now he's going to jump into the second spot overall. Third spot as they sit is Jet Rao. Four spot Jarrett Tensher. Like I said, he's going to move up a position as he makes a pass out there on that lap. And it looks like Tate Rush will run out your top five. But again, that is unofficial. That's just the way they sit right now on the two lap board. Actually, looks like White Flag's out. Uh, I'll check on that. I thought I saw the two when they came around. Sometimes that's ahead. We'll find out. But I did see a few mistakes from Rao. That's going to make it a little easier on Tincher. And I'll go check the board. It is the two card out. My apologies, guys. I'm a little excited. It does do that, number one. So we have two more laps of racing. So not <laughs> I can't wait to see the white flag lap. It's going to be going on right now. Jared Tensher, Jet Rao is there running one and two. And they have about a 10 second lead over the third place rider, which is Talon Rogers right now. And again, it's his championship to win or lose. Let's see if he can do it there in that third place position. Your fourth place rider, Shannon, Shannon Tarnow. He's out there in the number 51 machine. And fifth spot. Oh. oh, tough break for the number 72 machine, Jet Rao. That's going to make it easier for Tincher and probably get Talon Rogers a little excited. He's like, you know, I got, I've been reading the pit board. I can read. I know it's the 4 to 6 class, but I can see it. I know this championship is mine to win. But I really want to get out there and pass, pass Jet Rao because I want to get that extra step on the podium. If he can read, I'd be impressed with that. I think At this age, okay. And we're going with one word sentences down <laughs> on those pit boards anyway. Exactly. You got it, champ. Whatever we can do. We'll make it nice and understandable. I usually actually should draw smiley faces and thumbs up. Stuff like that, some stuff you can really understand. Yeah, most definitely. I'm sure Dad is over there in the mechanics here right now, <laughs> giving two thumbs up for Talon Rogers, who currently sits in that third place position, but looking good in the overall picture right now. And our running order this last time around will be Jarrett Tincher in the first place, Jet Rao in the second, Talon Rogers in the third, Shannon Tarnow in fourth position. In the fifth position, we have Tate Brush, Justice Pearson in the sixth, Jace Elliott in the seventh, Jack Defendall in eighth, Ax Axton Hayward in ninth, and Cruz Peterson in tenth. And it looks like we have somebody down here in the sand section. I hope they're okay. Looks like we'll be in the white flag this time around. The white flag is out for Jared Tencher. Who now has a 10 second lead over Jet Rouse. So that's going to be some confidence there for Tincher. You can put it on cruise control right here in this final lap. The 31 machine, Talon Rogers, he's going to check in with us. He is still in that third place position. Sh Shannon Tarnow, he's in the fourth spot, but man, his lap time is significantly faster than Rogers. So we can see what happened here in this last lap. Tate Brush in the fifth spot, rounds like a top five. And I'll tell you what, man, I play poker. And Talon Rogers going with a 3 3 3. That's one of my hands right there, a set of threes. Yep, and then if Talon, if they finish the way they're running now, Talon Rogers will be your Micro 2 4 to 6 limited champion. And I got a shout out Jay Selly. He's got a best moto finish for him right now. He's went 10 and 12 moto one and moto number two, and he's sitting in the sixth place position. So a huge shout out there for the number 99 machine. And it looks like consistency is going to be the key here. Oh, consistency is always the key, Jackson, especially at Loretta Lynn's Ranch. 
steady as she goes now through the Ten Commandments. Tarnow is on a move. He really wants to get Rogers before this one's over, but it might be a little too little too late as you see Tate Brush as well behind that number 51 machine. And Dean, I'm amazed at how much these micro two, four to six guys have tore up this track. They are on the gas. There's ruts everywhere. I just watched them clear them all up, and here they are again. Oh, yeah, these guys are on the gas, and those Cobra motors, there's something else. Looking for our leader now. Looks like they're coming out of Storyland. Going to be making their way up to our sand sweeper. A little sand section out there. These little guys having no problem navigating through. On the screen now, we have the number 51 of Shannon Tar. Now that'll be the he'll be in the fourth position. Oh, wheeling down the landing right there, showing Axel Hodges a thing or two as he wheelies down the end of that little camel back there into the sand section. And these guys are putting the pressure on the 31 machine. I'm, not I'm trying to see. He's got a few positions to lose, but you know he doesn't want to lose any positions because he might lose his head a little bit if he gets passed up, knowing he is in the title contention. Just a few more turns. We should see our leader make his way through here very shortly. And here comes your third and final moto winner. It's going to be the 44 machine. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be the 44 machine, Jared attention, man. That white flag, the checker flag threw me off, but we got our winner coming down, making his way up to the podium, the top step of that podium, which is not a better feeling for these 4-6 to six riders. And coming through and checking in with us here in the second place position, it will be Jet Rao holding on to it. Talon Rogers will hold on a third. That should be good enough for the championship. Fourth spot will be Shannon Tarnow with that moto. Tate Rush will be in fifth round of your top five. And it will be Talon Rogers being the champion right here. Shannon Tarnell will finish up second overall. Jet Rao will be third overall. Fourth overall, Jarrett Tincher. This spot will be Tate Brush. Making sure all these riders are checking in with us behind Tate Brush. And that sixth spot will be Jack Devendahl. Seventh overall will be Kate Cameron Buckman. Eighth overall, Jay Elliott. Ninth overall, Axon Hayward. And tenth overall, rounding out your top ten is Cruz Peterson. And we'll see Wygan down there on the podium with our overall champion. Actually, our top three down there on the podium. Talon Rogers, Shannon Tarnow, and Jet Rouse. Take it away. Awesome performances here. We got a lot to get to. Championships, of course. But moto wins feel good, especially when you do that, making moves. And we got some stars of the future here at Loretta as well established. Make sure my math's right on the overalls. All right, we'll get the rest of the field ready down there, but let's give a gold medal to Jarrett Tinchner. Yeah, Jarrett. Buddy, where did that, where did that speed come from, dude? Uh, I wrecked the first two motos, and I had my bad luck, and then now I have my good luck. Yeah, that's it. Had my bad luck, now I had my good luck. Who do you want to thank, Jarrett? Mom, Dad, Back to Electric, West Virginia Karate Academy, OGs, Rob Mitten, Mitten Cycle, MRP, West Virginia, um, OGs, Dunlock Tires, LST, Ryan Smith, that's all. Jarrett Tincher with the gold medal. Congratulations to you. We do need to uh, move his bike on off. We'll bring the championship machine up. Congrats on the Moto win. I will hand out the silver to Jet Rao if Jet wants to come up. Okay. Let's get second place on up.
He won a moto this week. He rode awesome. Let's hear it for Jet Rao. Stay right here, buddy. That was a battle, dude. I know, right? <laughs> Do you have fun out there this week? Heck yeah. Yeah. And we'll see you back next year. Who do you want to thank, Jet? Uh, my mom, my dad, Cobra Town, Dream Chasers, Game Moto, Sofa, and that's it. All right, Jet Rao, everybody, second place. He also took a gold earlier. Let's bring our whole shot up. And we need the championship bike to come on up to the stage. The championship bike, I'll bring Khan up with our whole shot. Let me first give out a Stasic whole shot award to Landon Khan. How'd you pull that start? Uh, just holding it wide open and staying on it and leaning back. There you go, that's how you do it, Landon. Who do you want to thank? My mom, my dad, Pinot Migo, Cobra, Met and Motors, and um, I don't know. All right, good enough. Landon Kahn, your Stasic whole shot. Good job, buddy. All right, Landon, you can keep that, and we're going to bring the number 31 bike on up. And it's how you do it here in the three moto format. You gotta be consistent. He went three, three, three to be number one, Talon Rogers. How good does this feel? Good, first time doing this. First time doing this. First time at Loretta's? Yep. And you won. How about that moto? Tell me about it. It was really rough. I got a good start finally and yeah. Uh, yeah, who do you want to thank Talon? My mom, my dad, brother and sister, Dunlop, Pro Taper, FXR. Yeah. There it is. There's your national champ. Let's bring up Tad from the AMA. And let's hand out the number one plate in four to six micro, Talon Rogers. 